Around 1799, a 26-year-old man named Joshua Penny deserted from a British Navy vessel here in Table Bay Harbour. Penny fled up Table Mountain. He walked for four days and until he finally got to a place that nowadays is called Penny's Cave. He later described in a memoir that he stayed there for 14 months, living off the land. Today we're going up to find Penny's Cave. Joshua Penny's cave is just around the corner. I'm not showing it at the moment because of the wind. We need shelter from the wind for the microphone. The cave itself is actually quite sheltered. It's blocked by trees and you can really only see it from this, this location. Um, Joshua Penny probably would have approached the cave from the same direction as us because we are between Cape Town and the cave. The cave was rediscovered as, a, as an occupation site in um, the late um, 19th century, around 1890, um, quite possibly by people who were early members of the, the Mountain Club of South Africa, which was formed in the 1890s. And um, they actually found artifacts in the cave that they could um, identify as having been left there by Joshua Penny. <laughs> My name is Rose Ferguson and I'm the office manager of the Mount Club Cape Town section and I've worked here for 16 years. There's always been a lot of interest um, oh. with the Penny oh. story because I often get people and journalists and people wanting to come and have a look at the artifacts and that's why we've actually put it now in a better position so that people can take photographs and um, have a look at um, what was found in the cave because before they, um, you know, it wasn't so easy, so, but I, I definitely get about, you know, a good two or three people a year wanting to have a look. See, to my mind, if he was going to sleep, this might have been where he slept, in this corner here, or maybe along there. It, I suppose it depends. When, when the weather got wet, he would push further in. Um, but this end of the cave, to me, is, is sleeping quarters, because further up the cave, it's, the slope is... There's always sloping and it's a bit rocky and maybe it'd be a nice place to sit and look out towards the sea and uh, check the lie of the land. His story about occupying this cave um, is, um, is true. Um, he certainly did spend time in this cave during his uh, period of exile. But um, the duration of his time spent in this cave is maybe a bit more questionable because be hard to survive in this environment for 14 months without um, access to better resources. <laughs> 